Hello everyone, I'm Christopher and today I'm collabing with Lotus Tech and I'm showcasing his free shop and how to gain access to it. If this is something that you're interested in, I'll leave the link in the description down below. The great thing about this free shop is it has close to 30,000 games, including their DLCs and updates. And these games aren't region locked, so you have access to Japan games and European games. A majority of the titles are Switch games, but you'll also be able to access GBA ROMs as well. This is a public shop, so anyone can access it. So I recommend getting on that as soon as possible, because you know once the word gets out, these shops do tend to get shut down. And once this shop is done, it's done for good. I'll provide you guys with more information about the shop as I go through with a tutorial on how to get this shop up and running. So let's just get started. So we're going to start by clicking the link I provide down below in the description. And then you're going to want to select the Discord icon. After you've selected it, it'll take us to the Discord group. We're going to have to accept the rules to gain access to the full Discord group. After you've accepted the rules, we can scroll down to the Switch Links tab. Once you've reached the Switch Links tab, we're going to select the Switch Links thread. Then you're going to want to select the Lotus Shop invite link. And again, you're going to want to select the Discord icon. So you're going to want to join the Lotus Shop Discord. And once you join this Discord, you're going to have a set of rules to accept before you can do anything. So once you read the rules over and hit accept, we can go into shop info and then we can select the link provided down below. Then it'll take us to this guide on how to access the Lotus Tech Shop. The Lotus Tech Shop does provide a written guide, but I wanted to provide you guys with a step by step video on how to do it. If you need any more clarification on the steps that I show you, you can refer back to their guide. So we're going to go to the lotustechshop.net. Once it takes us here, we're going to need to authorize access before proceeding. So we're going to select authorize access. Then it's going to ask us to choose an account. This can be your account that you use for YouTube slash Gmail. So once you've chosen your account, it'll take us to Google hasn't verified this app. This app is requesting access to sensitive info on your Google account. You're just going to want to select the advanced link. Then you're going to want to select go to lotustechshop.net. This is 100% safe, so you don't have to worry about the alert. Then it's going to say lotustechshop.net wants access to your Google account. You're going to want to make sure to select the manage your YouTube account box. All this does is subscribe you to Lotus Tech, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you're going to want to select continue. It'll say congrats, you are now subscribed, and it'll provide you with the email you use to register with the shop and the password for the note that you'll get later on in this tutorial. So do not exit out of this, because if you do, you'll no longer have the password that you need. So make sure you screenshot this or write it down somewhere safe so you don't forget it. Now we're going to open up tinfoil and we're going to scroll down to file browser and we're going to press the minus button and we're going to select protocol and we're going to look for HTTPS. You're going to select that and we're going to scroll down to hosts and you're going to want to input lotustechshop.net and we can ignore port and path. We're going to select username and you're going to want to input the email you use to register for the Lotus Tech Shop. But instead of using the at symbol for like at gmail.com, at hotmail.com, at yahoo.com, you're going to want to put percentage 40. Then for the password, you're just going to put QWE. Once done, we're going to save it by pressing X and it should refresh itself. You're going to get a pop up that says success and that the password has been sent to your email. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to go to our email and in the email you're going to get it'll say the lotus shop has sent you a note so we're going to want to view it and it's going to ask us for a password and if you remember the congrats you were subscribed we're going to go back to that and copy the password for the note then we're going to paste it in the password box and view the note now this should give us the pin that we're going to use for the lotus tech shop so we're going to go back to tinfoil file browser and we're going to select the protocol that we just created and we're going to edit it by pressing x and we're going to go to password and we're going to delete QWE and input the pin that we just got from that email. Then we're going to save and it'll refresh once again. Now we can exit out of tinfoil and eject our SD card and put it into the computer. Now we need to scroll all the way down to step four on the Lotus Tech guide. And on step one, we're going to click the download from here link. Once our file is downloaded, we're going to go to my computer open up our SD card, and we're going to open up our download. We're going to open up the Lotus Tech Shop zip. Now we're going to go into our Switch SD card and open up the Switch folder, tinfoil, and themes. And we're going to create a new folder and label it Lotus-Tech-Shop. 
and we're going to extract the files into there. And now we're going to eject our SD card. Then we're going to put our SD card back into our switch. And once we're on our custom firmware, we're going to open up tinfoil again. Then we're going to get an error telling us that we have to download and install the Lotus Tech Shop theme. So we're going to press OK because we already did that. And we're going to scroll all the way down to Options. And we're going to select Theme. And we're going to look for the Lotus Tech Shop theme. We're going to select it. And we're going to close out of Tinfoil again. We're going to reopen Tinfoil. And now we'll see that it says Welcome to the Lotus Tech Shop. You are now logged in correctly. So we'll press OK. And you can see we have new games, new DLC, and new updates. So we can scroll forever on this. Just wanted to show you a little quick preview. And then the DLC and our updates. And that's it for this tutorial. Your shop is all set and you're good to go. So you may have noticed that I skipped over step three in this video. That's the video all in itself. So if you'd like me to make a video on how to do that, just let me know in the comments down below. But it's pretty straightforward, so you can just follow the guide and set that up yourself if you'd like. So now that you have your tinfoil set up, there are a few things that I want to address before ending this video. Remember, you must subscribe to Lotus Tech's YouTube in order to access this free shop. If you don't do that, the free shop will not work for you. You don't have to worry about your YouTube or Gmail because all the information is encrypted, so you don't have to worry about any of that getting leaked. Once you've created your account and logged in, you no longer need the password. You'll stay logged in forever. Make sure to screenshot any passwords because once you close out of that, the password is gone. And once you sign into the account on your tinfoil app, you'll be logged on forever, so you don't have to worry about that. But if for whatever reason anything happens and you're logged out, you'll have that screenshot to log back in. If there's any updates about the shop, all of that information will be found on Lotus Tech's channels and on the shop's Discord channel. So make sure you check that out for any updates. Please, if you have any issues with this or if anything is going wrong with the free shop, do not contact the creators personally. Please log on to their Discord and use their ticket system that they have in place if you run into any issues. So again, please do not message them personally. Any questions or concerns, go through the Discord group. If you get a message saying that you're blocked, that's because a lot of people are trying to join at that same time. So you'll just have to wait until more batches are released. They do release a few batches every couple of hours. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, try again in a couple of hours. They'll also announce whenever they release a new batch on the Discord channel. So check that out if you're waiting for the next batch. Thank you for watching this video. If it's helped you out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy.